charged in last May's riot in downtown Grand Rapids has pleaded guilty. Adrian Baker entered that plea during a status conference this week. Tonight, 13 on your side's John Hogan has more in Baker's case and what's happening to the more than 20 others who are also charged. Adrian Baker was charged with riot for what transpired in downtown Grand Rapids on May 30th and into the 31st. Now, one of the charges also has to do with damage here at Bigby Coffee. How do you plead? Guilty. Under an agreement with the Kent County Prosecutor's Office, Adrian Baker pleaded guilty to riot. And you wrongfully engaged in violent conduct, correct? Assistant Prosecutor Elizabeth Bartlett went over the elements of the crime. And you intentionally or recklessly caused or created a serious risk of causing public terror. Would you agree with that? In exchange for the plea to riot, a malicious destruction of property charge was dismissed. That for damage at Bigby Coffee. I find the defendant understands the plea, that it is voluntary and accurate. Accordingly, I accept the plea. Your bond will continue and your sentencing is scheduled for May 12th at 10 a.m. Judge Kurt Benson has the option of sentencing Baker under the Holmes Youthful Training Act, which would keep his record sealed from public view. That is what happened with 22-year-old Claire Newhall. She was the first adult to be sentenced for riot. As it now stands, five adults and one juvenile have pleaded guilty to riot. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker says if additional evidence comes in, it is still possible that others can be charged. We've done everything we can to try and hold those accountable for the rioting. And so even, even now, if tips come forward, we will follow them up. It was a very serious thing and had a tremendous impact on this community. The felony charge of riot is punishable by up to 10 years in prison. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.